Hello, I'm going to show you how I'm going to style my hair um, in a wavy curl. So first I'm going to use this Batiste dry shampoo. Shake it up. I just dried my hair. You just want to do it all over the scalp. About an inch apart. Rub it in really well. What that does is it'll prevent it from getting greasy. I can go about four days with dry shampoo. And then it also gives me a stiffness in the body. All right. I have my favorite hairspray, which is Healthy Sexy Hair. And my Gator Clip Comb, or uh, Clip. So underneath the short hair and with long, sometimes you can just wrap it in the curling iron. Since you're not really gonna see it, you just wanna make sure that you're pulling at the end so that you get that straighter look. This is the faster way. You can also, <clears throat> you can also wrap it around the iron with your hand every curl if you'd like. Always start at the root. Leave them be. Don't touch the curls after you curl them. I usually do about two layers of in the barrel curls. Again, pulling them straighter towards the bottom of it. Always start at the root. And then pull it through. The reason you start at the root is because that's where the hair is the newest and the healthiest and so it can take the most heat to it. Um, if you start at the ends then just a quick spray. Um, if you start at the ends those are usually more fragile you'll get more breakage or heat damage or things like that. Also since the root is more resistant to curl it's gonna take it longer to actually take the curl. So now I'm gonna start wrapping it around. Um, and then the ends are gonna be, since they are more fragile, they'll take to the curl quicker. So they don't need to be on as quite as long. So wrapping it around, you always wanna go away from the face. So away, start at the root, hold it on for a few seconds and then finish by wrapping the ends. Um, it will be hard to not break up the curls because you're excited to see what it's gonna look like or to make sure it's looking like, like that it's looking okay, but try to resist the urge because um, as you let it sit, it cools and it will hold for longer. When you put hair into the iron, now these are really little pieces, but you can grab larger pieces because the heat is on the clamp and the barrel. So the hair is sandwiched between it. But when it when you're wrapping it around, you're gonna find that you need to take smaller bleak pieces because then the heat is only getting to the inside of the curl. Again, away from the face. Notice how I, how I have the barrel 
the um, curling iron facing down away from the face you're wrapping it and then that way you can pull it down off of it quick spray by working your way up see how I can see all the straight hairs that are laying on top of the curls that way I'm not missing any pieces Wrapping it away and finishing with the straighter ends. Um, usually I'll take the mirror at the end and just check that I didn't lose any pieces that I can't see in the back, and then just curl them in the iron at the end. So see that this piece is really straight. You can either rewrap it, or sometimes I'll just take the barrel and quickly bend it, but not all the way to the end. That way it's bending a little more, but not curly curl. to the side. Um, the other advantage of spraying it after is not only is it helping it to set, but when I go to grab the back hairs, I can feel what's still soft and what is sprayed so that way I can feel what I haven't curled. If you have a three-way mirror or something like that, then obviously you can see a little better. So see what happens when you take, that was too big of a piece. When you take too big of a piece, it's just not going to be enough of a curl. Again, always away from the face. Oops. It takes a little practice to get this. You'll burn your fingers. But remember, it doesn't matter if you get the very ends. And you can always clamp the curl at the end if you need a little bit more bend. So you don't need to get pressed right up. See, the ends are still straight, but that's what gives the beachy look. Okay, let's see one straight piece. I'm going to leave the ends out. All right, hairspray. I recommend using a dry aerosol spray. Um, making sure that it's not too wet helps it to be more manageable to uh, work with or if you have to brush it out. Or if you want to spray first and then curl, if you have a wet hairspray, you're going to start getting some, uh, it's going to burn to the iron and you can have some more damage. So just careful that it's not too wet of a spray or just spray to set it, not to style it. Again, it's looking very stringy and piecey um, and resist the urge to break up the curl because it's all, it's going to come out okay. It just needs to cool in those curls, especially since the beach wave is a lot looser of a curl. You don't want to loosen it up too much or too soon. up to my part. Quick spray.
away from the face. You also can start the strand a little lower. Like you don't have to have it right up against the root. That way you're not having like a big bubble at the root. See then it's laying flatter against my head. So depending if you want the bangs off the face or down, if you want them down, then you would curl going like that. If you want to be brushing it off of your face, then lift it up and away from the face. So up and away from the face. So, stringy curls. Okay, this is how it's going to look. Before you shake it out. Just use your fingers, tussle it up. You should be able to play with your hair throughout the day with the beachy curls. So you want to use hairspray throughout, but you don't need to use tons. You can always spray once you finish all of it. Break up the root more than running your hands through it. You're just putting your fingers in and shaking it. Any pieces around the face you can pull out. And then I like to use the Moroccan oil dry texture spray. It just gives a little bit more of that dirty hair feel, and it doesn't have a lot of build up, but it gives it the texture I need for my fine hair. All right, there you go. Beachy curls.